Hey guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So today I want to talk about something that's becoming a pet peeve of mine. And it's the concept of, I don't have time. So many times I hear this and a lot of times it's really an excuse, really and truly. So many people will say, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to accomplish that. Oh, I want to do this. But I don't have time. And I am making a PSA to call BS. Okay? Because you do have time. And so at the beginning of this Motivational Monday, I want to start off with an activity that opened my eyes to how much time we really do have. And I used to use that as an excuse that I don't have time because I work anywhere between 50 to 70 hours a week and I have an hour commute back and forth to work. So I don't have time to do anything. Um, Where is the time supposed to be when you work five, six days a week, 10 plus hour shifts? And then once you factor in the commute, that's 12 hours of the day right there and you have to sleep. So I am saying this out of love. And we are going to do an exercise that will hopefully transform how you feel about how much time you have. Okay. So we are going to do a little old school math. And I have my calculator pulled up because I know this is not always a judgment-free zone. And sometimes people like to judge. So I'm going to pull up my calculator and we're going to do this math together. Okay. Okay. So, there's 24 hours in a day, and there's seven days a week, right? Right. So, let's see. That's 168 hours a week. And I even did it from worst case scenario. So, I work worst case scenario 70 hours a week, right? That's 98 hours left. So if I'm working six days a week that week, that's a 12-hour commute for the week. I really am using the calculator, y'all. Don't judge. So we're down to 86 hours a week. Okay? I like sleep. So let's say I do eight hours a night. Right? So that's 56 hours a week of sleep. That leaves me with 30 hours a week. So I really had to take a look, a real hard look at life and say, what am I? (laughs) Don't judge, guys. I'm being real with you. But I had to be honest and say, what am I doing with 30 hours a week that I feel like I don't have time? So, I want you guys to do that for yourself because not everyone's working 70 hours a week. Not everyone has an hour commute to work. Not everyone works six six, five to six days a week either. And that is no longer my story. But even at 50 hours a week with 10 hours of a commute, that's still a pretty hefty amount of time that I'm spending either going to work, getting ready for work, being at work. So my 10-hour workday is still a 12-hour day when you factor in a commute. But I have to be more aware of how I'm spending that other 30, 40, 50 hours a week, really and truly. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to do this one more time, but for people who work a 40-hour work week, okay? So 168 hours a week minus 40 hours. Okay, let's say you have a 30-minute commute to work. So five days a week, that is going to be five hours. Yeah. I can feel the judgment, guys. I feel it. So 123 hours left, right? 
And with that same eight hours a night, that is 67 hours left in your week. Y'all see that 67? That's a lot of time. So what is it that you're spending your time on? Are you being productive with your time? Question number one that you need to be honest and ask yourself. Am I being productive? Yes or no? And if you can't honestly say yes to that question, you really need to evaluate. Are you allowed to use the excuse that I don't have time? Because at the end of the day, we make time for what matters to us. You just have to decide that your dreams and your goals and your aspirations matter enough to make sacrifices. What are you willing to sacrifice? Do you have to watch your favorite TV show live? It's on demand. It's not going to go anywhere. You can catch up at any given point. But do you have to watch it when it's on immediately? When you're watching TV and catching up on your shows, could you be doing anything else? Could you be working on something? Is there something you could be doing productively while you're binge watching your favorite show? Seriously, guys. Like, I really want you to evaluate. Do you have time or are you not choosing to make the time? Because at the end of the day, when I did this activity, I stopped using that as an excuse because I realized I absolutely have time that even on my worst work weeks, I still have 30 hours a week and I still have had eight hours of rest every night. So you don't have to f feed into the idea that, oh, team no sleep and I got I got to grind every minute of the day. No. But when you're awake, be productive. And even if that means resting productively. For example, this past Sunday was my Sabbath. I did nothing work related. Nothing. But it was intentional. It wasn't just me lollygagging. I put in my schedule that some, that Sunday is my Sabbath. It's not always going to fall on the Sunday, but one day a week, I am dedicating to myself to have at least one day a week to just rest. But it's going to be productive rest, even if that means productively being unproductive so I can check out, so I can rest, so I can recover. However, having that Sabbath allows me to be productive every other day of the week because I know that rest is coming. I've built it into my schedule so I have something to look forward to. I'm a big component of self-care. You have to take care of yourself but every day can't be a self-care day. Every hour can't be a self-care hour. You have to work hard and rest just as hard. It's balance, guys, really and truly. But are you using your time productively? So before you tell me that you don't have time to do something, I want you to evaluate how you're spending your time, really and truly. So I will tell you, after this activity, I went from someone who just went, woke up, went to work, came home, went to sleep. That's it. So now, I'm working the same job. I have time for my business. I coach cheerleading. I'm active in my sorority, and I regularly attend church and have an active relationship with God. And I still make time for myself, and I still make time for my family, and I still make time for my friends. And I remember having a conversation with someone, and 
they were like, something's got to give. And I'm like, no. Everything that's on my plate is a non-negotiable. So I have to make time. Even if that means I need to sacrifice sleep. So those eight hours of sleep that I was talking about, I now sleep about six hours a night. And I make sure that that rest is productive. That's it. Phones on do not disturb. TV's on something that I can fall easily fall asleep to. I turn off work completely. And I shut down and I sleep peacefully. So those two hours a night, I've now made up 14 additional hours in my day. Okay? So it's really about, in my week rather, 14 additional hours in my week. So what are you willing to sacrifice and how are you willing to find that time? So those same 50 hours a week that I work, because I, I, I work no less than 50 hours a week. During my lunch breaks, I have my computer with me and I'm working on my business. I leave on time so I can make it to cheerleading practice. I request days off that I need to do things for my family, for my business, and for my cheerleading. In my sorority, you have to be willing to make it work or it won't work. So I hope, I really, 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 really hope that this has helped someone to learn to stop using I don't have time as a valid excuse. From this point on, do not accept it from yourself and do not accept it from others. If someone tells you they don't have time, what you should hear is, I don't want it bad enough. Translate it that way so that when you say, I don't have time, or if you hear it from someone else, I don't have time, translate that sentence as, I just don't want it bad enough. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Um, I want to hear your thoughts. I really do. I'm open to hearing your thoughts on that. And I hope you heard it from a place of love and encouragement and understand that I am not judging those who use that excuse because I used to be one of those people as well. But I want better for you. And I want to push you to get your best life in 2018. All right? Thanks, guys.